Monaco. What comes to mind when you hear this name? Perhaps a city state or a famous casino, a no income tax or gorgeous yachts? Regardless of what comes to mind, you probably imagine a very beautiful and interesting place to visit. And Monaco is just that. You can take a day trip to visit Monaco from Nice, but if you want to see the changing of the guard at the Prince's Palace at 11.55, it is better to depart from Nice early. To get to Monaco, take bus number 100 from Nice. The bus follows a scenic route along the coast and it takes about 45 minutes to arrive in Monaco. If you get off at the cemetery, you can start your visit at the botanical garden Rorda Exotique. It boasts an extensive collection of cacti that look quite at home in the garden. Have you ever seen cacti that resemble black roses? No? Then Rorda Exotique is a place to visit. As you walk through this magical garden, you can also indulge in the spectacular panorama of Monaco and the French Riviera. While in the garden, you can visit the observatory cave and admire the impressive stalactites and stalagmites. This cave was discovered in 1916. A long time ago, there used to be a small observatory nearby, and the cave was named after it. The cave was excavated for a long time until it was ready for visitors, and was opened in 1950. It is a karst cave that was formed as the limestone was washed away with water that had carbon dioxide dissolved in it. As you descend into the city, you can enjoy the beautiful flowers, elegant parks and charming streets. You'll find a heliport once you've reached the coast. Several helicopter tours are offered here, but you need to book them in advance.
to visit the Prince's Palace and the historic center of Monaco, you will have to climb up the hill again. The palace is beautiful and the visit is very interesting, but unfortunately videography and photography is not allowed inside. This palace was built in 1190 and was originally intended as a Genoese fortress. Now it is the residence of the current Prince of Monaco, Albert II. After you finish touring the palace, do not miss Monaco's Oceanographic Museum with its aquarium. As you walk to the museum, you will have another opportunity to look at the port of Fontvieille, which was built on land recently reclaimed from the sea. The Oceanographic Museum has very impressive exhibits and is fascinating for both children and adults. There you can see marine creatures from the Mediterranean and the tropics. You can even stroke the sharks in a touch tank. Next, you could visit Port Acule. It is a deep water port, so it can accommodate cruise ships. Of course, you can also see large yachts there as well. The entrance to the underground railway station Gare du Monaco Monte Carlo can be found near the port. From this station, you can return to Nice or go to other destinations. As you walk to the train station, Stop by the Fort Antoine, which is one of the historic monuments in Monaco. It was built in the 18th century and now serves as an open-air theater. We did not make it to the Monte Carlo Casino this time. We'll share our impressions of it next time we go to Monaco.